Fofu and Gigi were sleeping in their beds until the relic store got set on fire. For some reason, this is motivation for them to quit their jobs. And okay, well, I'm gonna say the gimmick of the pack right now because I think this part is really poorly tutorialized. Basically, here is the gimmick of this pack. You have a remote bomb that explodes on idling or would you rather take a magic artifact which causes text to behave strangely in its presence? Well, it's already strange to cut off. Hold on there. So it's either that or the bomb. So let's take the bomb by putting it in the train cart. So now when I go into the next level, this object becomes a bomb and it would have been the orb if I selected the orb. But right now we are just going to play with the bomb. So the bomb explodes if I press space and I can press space at any time. The walls can also explode. No, they can't. Oh, I guess the walls can't explode. Never mind. But the door can anyway. It's just that we need the flag to be alive. Alternatively, we could we just do rock is win? This is a little weird. Yeah, that... Hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe the orb used there or something. Well, there's also an extra level that involves an, the bomb as well. We can't destroy the walls. We can't destroy the fire either, as fire is safe as ruinous. So, bam, that can destroy... Shut. I don't even know why there's something that's shut. There's nothing. Shut only makes sense with an open object. Well, hmm. Now, also, uh, while I'm, while you're watching this, I think you should definitely appreciate the level design. You know, the the idea that all the levels are solvable with a different object than the bomb. Like it had to be designed for both solutions to work. I can do this, and then I can just break the raucous push, right? So, the, I can make flag is win, but the problem would be that I, the rock is in the way. Well, with the with the bomb set up, I can destroy the raucous push and just win. Alright. But the branches into even more paths? What the? Huh. I'll just do the extras. I mean, okay, that... that w w why is there so much? Fire is safe. We can destroy the belts, probably? Hmm. I only destroy one right now. This rule is weird and seems like, why Why would I care? Belt is never going to be without Fofo. If I'm without Fofo, that means I don't have control. Fofo is not move also means like, it doesn't mean that I can't move. Well, it means that I'll, I'll explode here. And the problem is then I can't do Fofo is move. That's that's canceled out because of Fofo is not move. There is, there is so much text. It's so suspicious. I can do Fofo as door. Maybe there's some idea there. Oh, wait, what? I mean, okay, yeah, the belts disappear for obvious reasons when Fofo is gone. It's because the big rule. But I can also do door is Fofo. No, I can't. Right, because door is door. This entire setup is really strange. We could do that and then what rock is move. We can't do bomb is push. Wait, what? No. No, bomb is always inherently push. The bomb is just getting shifted immediately back to the belt. Uh, by the belt, I mean. Like, I can also do f rock has fofo. And exploding it now creates another fofo. So maybe I push the rock and the bomb over here instead, and then do rock is move. Alright. Now, I can explode it to create a fofo somewhere. Hmm. I kind of want it to destroy the... Oh, it's not going to destroy the fire, unfortunately. But wait, but hold on, but we have the it. Wait, what the... Okay, there must have been quite a lot of that level devoted to alternate stuff. Got to get there first. There's a paper. Hmm. What does this do? When revived, it becomes newer. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I mean, okay, first of all, there is a priority spaghetti going on here where this, it's, it's pushing it down and there's nothing that says it should go down. It's just an arbitrary order, but when revived, it becomes newer. So another newer Super Mario 3DS. So I don't even know which one would be the one to explode. Uh, what about put it there? We want to rescue the wind, right? Explode now. Oh my God. <laughs> when the troll logic is too much. I, this is not even the first pack the creator has done that uses such a thing. We could also do Skull as win, couldn't we? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's do Flag as win and go. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> ah, oh my god. A blessing and a curse. Bomb. Okay, we have another piece of paper down there. Skull is move. We are on the wrong parity and the walls are... Uh... Fofo is weak, so I can't waste the turn very easily. Well, the only way to waste a turn is actually to idle and explode the bomb. But then we could start doing this. 
And we can only really break the water to sink stuff. This is odd, because pillars still push. We couldn't even, like, interrupt it with a rock or something? That doesn't work. Well, idle water is sink, so I can do that. Then explode, and the door... What, what do you... Oh, come on. Oh, Fofo is weak, probably. I don't know if the door is solid. It shouldn't be solid, though. Maybe it's just, like... Maybe it's Fofo is pushed, because then... Oh, that doesn't even work. It's gonna make me solid, but that doesn't work if I'm going on it at the same time as the skull. Maybe Fofo's push and then drop the, um... Doesn't work either. That paper is also suspicious, but I can't access it. Hold on, I can... Maybe get rid of that. And now am I... No, no, no. That was a tempting idea. <sighs> Shoot. That was so freaking close. Because so I think all I need to do is get to the other side and then fix up the water sink so that re remove the word idle from it. <sighs> oh, it's- oh my god! It's-, it's <sighs> I just missed that rock is defeat. Yeah, okay. So the parity switching did in fact work. Alright, there it is. So we can just break the idle from the water is sink. And now, with that done, I can use the bomb to get rid of that, and there we go. Well, hold on, because what is going to be winning now? Oh, Fofo is winning. There you go. Cool. So, is this really the order I was supposed to be doing this on? Because, like, wait, that means you designed, like, 10 levels where this or the other object could have been used. We have two belts. Not They're not even in... Well, they're kind of in stacking position. Hm. Weird. So I can float over that and then break the floating statement. But then, here is the, this is the problem. We can't move the wind left. I'm not even sure how this is gonna work. It feels like we're doing something that will break Fofo's float for like one turn and then bring it back. Hmm. Like bring it back so that we can get to it from the other side, you know? Like do that and then somehow bring it back so we can get through the fire again. Like there's... Text deck doesn't look good here. And float, you know, float doesn't let you go underneath text if you're wondering. Oh, you know what? We're Okay, hold on. I have an idea. There's a way to get Fofo's float to be, like, we need the bomb as part of it. So now we have alternation. Though, okay, here's, here's an awkward part. It's designed for it to be awkward, because I can't leave. Oh, wait. No, I'm, I, hmm. So I've created an alternator, but it's on an even cycle. So I die here, and I die here, I die here. I don't even have a wall to waste the move on, and I'm definitely pretty sure I shouldn't explode that. This would always be bad to explode anyway, because it kills the word Fofo. But even with that, hmm. It's the same situation here. And we're just a oh my god. Um <laughs> Well, okay, we can we can say that I made progress towards the other solutions of this level because you don't need the belts at all. Alright, anyway, makes the difference. Alright, so we got Keke and a Fofo in the same place. So, if you do defeat and win, the defeat happens before the win, so that's bad. So how do we make a difference between the two? We can explode the bomb. Hmm. Oh, we can also, like, make the bomb in a different place as well. And the bomb only exists on one side, so that makes this an easy win here. A rock in a hard place. Okay, there's a rock there, but the fire's in the way. Rock eat fire, so if there's some way to make the rock push sometimes, then... And then... Hmm... Well, you can make the rock push, break it, but then you would want rock is push back here. And also a flag, so... Is there a way to make the rock a flag? Yes, there is. Probably. The door is still in the way. How do you freaking get rid of the doors that I keep seeing? I... Well, besides this. I think you do rock is flag is rock then. Yeah, seems simple enough. Let's you push it. If you, as long as you idle like between them. Oh come no no use the we do it on the flag. There we go. Cool. Pretty straightforward solve there. And now prepare yourself. Again another well okay this at least this one isn't open this time so clip is open and shut. Got a belt. Flag near rock is wind. So the, unfortunately the rock is not nearby. If we do this. Then we can get to the rock, but... But... Oh. Well, it's easy. <laughs> okay. This is the ending. <laughs> Head scratch! We got the GG. And something automatically making fire. We can use... Can we use this to get rid of the fire and the robot at the same time? Yes. Hmm. Flag is win. 
power. We have power here? Why? We can't even get to it. We can't get to a lot of stuff after the bomb sacrifice. Uh, GG, by the way, is in here, so GG can also move. But using, using WASD instead of arrow keys. Okay, I'm gonna restart, because maybe there was a way to... Well, unless we leave the bomb behind, I cannot do anything. Okay, I can't catch up. Can we do this? Explode that and then do GG as win? Sure. It's not end exactly. Hmm. No, we gotta do the ending. So I'm not even sure how- Oh wait, GG eat, uh, GG eat fire. I don't know why I didn't like really recognize what that meant. But yeah, that means that I can just go here and then robot is end or something. Yep. Branching paths, which... This... <laughs> this was not playtested? <laughs> sure. Well, it sure seems like we didn't use the right side level at all, so like that's very suspicious. But I, we might not be able to get to them because it's okay. So it's time now, right? It's time to delete the save. Sorry to all the completionists, but we're back on this level. I also have a sneaking suspicion that the bomb versus the orb is not actually the only choice. Oh my god, there might be four choices here. Whoa! <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe let's not spoil too hard. Let's bring the orb. And see what this does. Alright. Well. Here's the orb. Okay, so now, with the orb, the text is no longer push. It's instead swap. So, to get the win... <laughs> we're gonna need to do something like that. Oh my god! Can we even, like, recover this well? I guess if we do this one by one... No? Okay, well, hold on. We can also mess with the rocket's push stuff, but... This seems like this bring... This is like really used to good, what I just did, right? And I can always swap backwards after doing that, so... This is just a way to get the win out. Okay, cool. And rock is win. Which needs to be painfully swapped in position. <laughs> we still didn't use the right side, which is, you know, suspicious, always. But there it is. Well, okay, how the hell do you do this then? We're probably able to swap using that as well, so we can do Rocket's push, but also swap with it. Do we do Rocket's flag? But we still need to get the win out, and then do flag as win. Can you even get an is out? Maybe with more rocks. The possibilities are overflowing right now. I guess we still don't use the shut. How do you swap the rocks now? Getting that is was kind of painful, and I'm not even sure you can get it out very well. I think I messed up with the- I don't need multiple rocks to do the is trick, though. I can do that. Then I can set rock is push, like I'm playing a freaking like, like, 15 puzzle or something. Rock is push. Then bring it out. Okay. This is a way to get the is, like... Okay, this is gonna work. Which is insane. Okay, once more. Yep, there it is. It's out. Well then. I think what we're going to do is a flag is win, but we also want to do rock is flag or something. Like, we do that, and then flag is win. Or, wait, we wouldn't even do that anything that weird. We can do that too, and then flag is win. And then we'll just walk to the flag. Cool. Well, there it is. So now we have an orb, and no remote control possibilities. That means that we do do the fo fo is float. Well, how do we even get them on the belts? Like that, I guess? That's so awkward. And they swap, too. This is horrif horrifying behavior. Aren't I going to have the same problem here, by the way? <laughs> At least I can swap parity there, but I can't do it anymore. I'm blocked. Wow, I don't know. I <laughs> did like, I'm so lost. Like, you can't sneak stuff through the tunnel. Oh, I forgot you could hide. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what a dumb way to- Okay, so I forgot you could just idle here. Because you couldn't idle in the bomb version. But you could- You can't idle here. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright. Okay, back here. And But this time, text is swap. We don't have a freaking bomb, so... Uh, do we do the same thing as previous level? Like the other time we solved it, or is... Hmm. Hmm. But this time we don't have... 
a way to remotely affect it. In fact, we don't even have another object at all. We can still try the rock as a move for laughs, but yes, it's gonna swap and then do nothing else. This level must be broken. Not play tested. I don't know what to- you can't transform the rock. Provo <sighs> can't move past here still. I didn't know how good I had it with the freaking bomb life. No, that doesn't do anything. I mean, hmm. If only I could get it one further. Even then, I'm, the, the winning is very suspect with this. I don't even know why I would want it to turn into a box. <sighs> is there a way to get another... Well, stacking is, was not on the plan. So now those move together. Rock is also very screwed. Unfortunately, in Texas swap environments, the maneuvering is a large part of the time spent. <laughs> so if I do this... No stacking. I don't need to sacrifice the rock. And maybe there's something even more special I can do. Hmm. Put the rock in the text, but... Wait, maybe you do Fofo is push on top of this. Like, there's... there's a th I love that there's a way to get this, the stack still. But not only that, like, I'm pretty sure there's a way to get the... Those are the... Uh, on Back to those positions as well. Actually, I wonder if Fofo is push is the only thing needed. But considering those aren't really move, moving with swap anyway, it probably doesn't really do that much. It's so tempting though. It's so close looking. Alright, like, e like even though I have, don't have the motivation to do anything, <laughs> I'm gonna try a thing where the rock is here instead. Maybe that's like different in a useful way. So, let's we do that. But now the rock cannot push me on the right words anymore. <laughs> Well, great. The what? How useful that was. There's a setup that allows, like over here, I could do this. I idle on this step, and now rock and move are in this. Uh, push and move are in the same space, so I can do this. Push it over. Yeah, but we can't do the same with Fofo. I'm pretty sure, mm, as Fofo cannot move. Listen, it can't double move. I'm about to fall asleep playing this puzzle. But also, we can let's just stack that one as well because why not? Not like Fofo can actually move, but you know, maybe, maybe like they'll be it'll be convinced to win the puzzle. No, it didn't work. Okay, to be honest, I hate this level. <laughs> like I I even have this setup where I can bring the rock over, but it just it doesn't swap the text onto the belt or anything like that. Not that we have would have much time to take advantage of it. Swap is awful. Move order priority is awful. Goodbye. Anyway. Alright, so we got this. We can make Skullas move, except, well, not, well, you can, you can do it, but it requires a little more effort. And the wind gets swapped there. Hmm. Well, we can't, we definitely cannot destroy it like last time. But don't we have a very easy way to make this happen? Now, uh, uh, idle flag is empty. I don't know if I have to care about that. Because you can still bring it here and just do Skullas win, right? Yeah, okay. There it is. Isn't it nice to have levels that are actually solved? <laughs> anyway. Okay, so now we have orb, and this time, I'm not sure how to make a difference between the two. You can do flag is push on both sides. Okay, this seems like it'll do it. Flag is push, move the flag a little- wait a minute. Hmm. No, the flag is push needs to interact with the text. There we go. Then we have it. So, the orb is all- No, because Fofo is weak, that's why. Effects seem to dissipate on removal. Okay. <laughs> hmm. So, can I do the same thing? I remember being able to do something like- like that. Oh, I need to break the push in the right spot. Now, I'm wondering how I can make this similar to the previous time that I did this level. Oh, I can do this and like, I can do water stick, but also I can break pillars push this time. Oh, no, no. Hmm. Hmm. Effects dissipate. What the hell even is that? So, pillar, we are still weak, so we die on the pillar, but we we want to get that win out of there. Wait, can I not- can I just get rid of the weak? Yeah, I can just like, rearrange the weak. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Do we have a turn where we just win? Oh, rock is still defeat though. Hmm. 
And I don't think I'm going to be able to get the word pillar past here. What does that mean? We need to figure out what exactly is the thing that is winning right now. Because that won't get in there. On Oh, oh, I know. Okay, I have an idea of what that means. On removal. This means there is a thing, there is an effect I can remove. It is, it is very thematic. Okay, this is pretty cool. I don't know if I can fix the freaking pillar though. Um, the idea is the orb is what's causing the text to swap. So get rid of that orb and like the, the theme also works. Also like, yeah, the skull's not, nah, not a problem at all because Fofo's no longer weak. Anyway, um, we're gonna need to figure out a way to do this. Hmm. Can ignore everything and like go through yeah okay and now okay but here's the thing i want to be able to move this pillar out or something like that i, I don't know can only mess with water and pillar this is the only free one because the door is not something i can interact with i can do pillar is sink I, uh, this is good right i do pillar is sink and get rid of that one now go back here and do pillar is push okay i don't know how to get it off the wall in this spot probably need like um an idol, use idol to do a transformation from from afar, yeah. So you do like idol, water is pillar. Right. Now, wait a minute, this is the wrong way. All right, there, I fixed it. So now when I idle, the pillar turns into water. So I go here, idle, turning into water, which is now pushable. Um, I, really, really, I gotta do this again in reverse. Okay. Okay. So we go to the other side and push the, Spuggy. Okay, fine. You can do that. Now, we put the pillar on there and make it sink. <laughs> this is very nice. We set up. Pillar is sink. Now, it's like, now since that's gone, I can push these around like normal. Also, I forgot to set up Fofo as win. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Cool interaction there. Even if execution took a while for it. Rock in a hard place. Okay, so now we've swapped, we can immediately get this word rock out of here. Well, out of here somewhat. And what we want an alternator, right? Should be able to set up an alternator here. Okay, so rocket's flag is rock, and then one of them is push. So it's the same thing as before, uh, this last time we did this level, but it's just slightly different. There you go. Yeah, flag is winner. Prepare yourself. Alright, I mean... Hmm. Text isn't even that involved here. Belt, which we cannot destroy this time. Is it blocking? Hmm. This is weird. I, I think I definitely need the rock back there. And pillar is not stop. Doesn't really even seem like text is capable of blocking any of this either. Hmm. Well, huh. This is pretty strange. I don't think you can get text up there at all. Wait, cliff is stop and open? Oh, well, there's an open right there. Well, then you just stack, push, and shift. Uh, shut, I mean. <sighs> Whatever. There it is. Okay. Well, wait a minute. This doesn't... That does not get me closer to anything. Can't, like, secretly open up the orb. Oh, you know what? No, no, okay. Like, just gotta, like, not forget the intuition about... Yeah, okay. There we go. Yep, this is the intuition for text to swap. I mean, I've known of the intuition. I just, like, forgot it for that one level. Okay, but, but the idea is we go here, and now the text is going to go to the right, swapping with uh, Fofo, because text is all swap. And there we are. Basically. There it is. <laughs> anyway, let us enjoy ending. So, again, I'm playing as Gigi here, la la la. Um, so actually, what does swap let us do? Wait, what? Oh, what? The, did it? Oh my god, it, it, wow, that's an interesting thing there. The, I, I gained two extra turns from that text at the top being able to be swapped with. Hmm, so we should probably be able to get the Fofo is safe or something done right now. Yep, yeah, Fofo is safe now. Okay, now what? Well, I could do uh, Robot is win, but I think... Well, wait, how do we get Gigi out of there? We can't get Gigi out? Hmm. But I thought we need to be the swapper to get this power thing going. Like, we make Robot its pull, then, like, try to make it help? I, I honestly doubt this will work. Also, why is it so hard to see? Please help. 
Oh, wow. It's actually making some progress in moving it. But being stuck in pole is also kind of bad. We should make it not stuck in pole. Yeah, okay. Maybe this helps. Okay, look at that. Okay, hold on. This is actually really interesting. And hard to freaking see as well. Okay, we're basically there. That's actually, that's pretty cool. Nice interaction there. I don't know if any bob levels really used it. But it can do that and set up power. And now, flag is power. Flag is power. Nice rule, freaking... Is that what we call a rule discovery game? Anyway. Anyway, I have a sneaking suspicion you could do even more. Let's grab the key and put it in. <laughs> All right. So, now this will become a key. Which, well, here's the point of the room, I guess, because now I can just open this. Is, is it just... What the, why does it feel like the rocks were... Anyway, flag is win. So, I actually wonder if this is going to be the easiest of them. Because the key is really a very... Like, okay, first of all, rock is shut. So now, finally, the shut is justified. But it does seem like the key is one of the most straightforward mechanics. It wasn't like the freaking swap, you know? Do, do, like, do, what is this? Do we need to stack the key somehow? But they're both push objects. What if I throw in the key first? Hmm. hmm. Alright, well, let's put the key there. Right? And then if I do rock is shut, boom. There you go. There's the path. Now the path's free. Okay, now we have the key. We don't even have a shut to go along with anything. Let's just go We're using the alternation tactic that we discovered before. Now, again, this time, like, idling with the with the bomb was a problem because the bomb would explode text. But and now I can idle completely freely, and that's how you get win. Now we go back out through the same way. Idle, okay, there you go. And Fofo's win. Cool. Do I dare go into hell level right now? Let's not. Get there first. Okay, so we have a key. Hmm. Can we use the skull to block? I I mean key to block. Hmm. No, it doesn't really work out. It's pretty strange stuff. I didn't think there would be any door that I could open that does anything useful at all. Oh well, we know we can do it faster, right? Like we can interrupt this. But idle flag is empty. No, then I don't idle. I press down as a replacement for idling. So instead of pressing space, space would just would get rid of the flag due to the idle flag is empty. But if I press down, then like then I'm completely fine. And now I can bring this win to the appropriate spot. Cool. Okay, this time we got the key in place, and how do we make a difference? Well, I mean, it seems pretty easy to make a difference. Hmm. But that does defeat first, that's not good. But hold on, the key can be used to desynchronize them. There we go. A rock and a hard place, okay. Well, I mean, this- you don't even need to see this because we- it's like the same thing as the freaking bomb level. That's probably one of the more boring levels at this point. Like, because I've done the same thing for every iteration of it, basically. Okay. Now, key's in here, but the key can be finally here to open the door. And we can also use the same rock trick that we did before. Okay, now we break apart this sink thing. Uh, no, no. We blocked- we got rid of the idle stuff from it. Then open this door. Okay, what's winning now? Fofo's win. Okay, quick, quick and easy. Pillar's push will... Uh, but text doesn't swap, so it's very... Wait, hmm. Look, the, the key is already open, so... No, wait, what? Oh, no, the clip is open. Okay, no, the key is open and the clip is open, which doesn't work. You actually need a, a shut object to get rid of the clip if you wanted to. Okay. Hmm, this is actually a little strange. I'm thinking there's pillars shut to get rid of both objects. That seems like the idea. You put the rock in there, and then you do pillars shut. The rock then moves the... The rock is, is currently not able to shift because the key and the pillar are both solid. But if you make pillars shut, the key then opens the pillar. And... 
uh, still no way to the flag. Uh, no, wait, no, we do, we, okay, okay, it's simple. We do the same thing except the rock, remember, the flag near rock is win. So putting the rock nearby the flag is what we do. But this time, we are the ones to do the key push, and there we go. Alright, time for the hell of existence. <sighs> You know, I don't think it'll actually be as painful because the door stuff, I don't even, I, I, why is there even the door stuff? Can you bring a, push a door? That's stupid. God. <laughs> well, okay, moving the text, I'm so glad to be able to move the text normally, but nothing po nothing point, there's no shut object except for door, but the door has Fofo is a little interesting because then if there's a the door, then the key can open it up. Still, to get a door in the first place, you're going to need Fofo to sacrifice itself. Well, no, this is good. R uh, gosh, because it gets rid of the belts, which is a key and very important thing. Where is Fofo? Fofo is door. And we want to do this while we're on the key or something like that. We can make this easier with idle, which we haven't used before. So we, like, do that. Open... Oh. Hmm. So, problem with that is that happened and, like, I idled and it... We transformed and then died on the same turn, leaving no room for the belts to realize they should disappear because there's no fofo. Like, level's all about the not idle belt without fofo thing. We can do rock is move and push the key. That'll do it. All right, rock is push. Now change it to say rock is move. And we have the time to turn into a door. Whoop, no, 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 now here. Okay, so with one turn that we are not like, that we don't have a fofo, the belts disappear, then we go back. Okay. So now I can break that. It is box. Now, the, the reason that we broke the door is door is so that we could turn the door back into a Fofo. So we invert those, then you can die on the... Oh no, idle Fofo's door. Okay, so Fofo has door, then the Fofo... God damn it. Um... Hmm. Can the rock push a door into position? I have no other idea, so I'm gonna put the rock here and... Maybe we could turn to a door. I don't even know if we have time to do such a thing. I don't think we can use this is. Like, we've already stacked it too much. Fofo has door. It can be pushed, but then I have no way to make the door turn into a Fofo again. If, unless I do something insane with the Fofo after it dies to get a text stack, it doesn't even seem like I can do a text stack. But it can door is move. Why didn't I do that before? Okay, anyway. Well, that was a really late find. So, I mean, I know it looks like, thanks to this, and also because the door is door seems like it would only maybe matter in the key run, but actually with the key, I feel like there's a different way. Just like thinking it over in my head, like the idea of having a key here just to go, because I might not have the text for it. I would need this set up, but with the statement, turning Fofo's door into an idle door is Fofo. Wait, but... But we can't do idle door is. Not the door is door breaking. What is even going on here? Help, I don't really want to do this. Procrastinate. Like, like, the 20 extra minutes on the timer is just like, I don't really want to um, find the setup here. But here it is. Uh, the idea is to do rock is move, putting the key on the other side. But we don't like, the key is not intended to be there all the way. We want to do Fofo's door. Go there, and then by this point, somehow it has switched to door has Fofo. Which is interestingly something you can do, kind of make happen. Like, if you do that, then it switches to door has Fofo. But, um, I don't freaking know where you would put the key to make that work. Now, just say not idle, so, like, I have control of when the belt is removed from the world. But I don't know how this is gonna happen. It means that if I keep idling, the belts don't disappear, basically. What about, like, idle rock is push? And then you do it. So the when it's idling, the rock acts as a normal, but then it won't act normal at the well, that means the no with this situation you would want the rock near the front. I don't even know how that's possible. It's probably what the left fire is for. Alright, so then we had to have the rocks and the key on the left. Okay. <laughs> is this it? Kind of insane that it's freaking using the belt stuff. You do that. Oh my god! So you, you you do use that belt for the reverse, and then you um do decide not to idle this turn. Idle is pressing space, so if I do a WASD move, then the belts disappear due to the not idle belts without if it was empty, and that gives us the unlock. That's freaking evil to not use the door is door thing. When when are we gonna use it? Probably in a hell world. The the magical orb hell. Anyway. 
So here we have a key. Key seems like we'd be using it for that. Now GGE fire so we can make it through here. We don't have another unique ending to find here. We just do robot is end or something. All right, cool. The playtesting is very eminent. Well, anyway, we this is in fact not the only thing we can do. We've we got the key. We got the bomb. We even got the orb, sort of. There's another character that I can do. Can do the other? No, you can't. Um. So if you missed it, we put Gigi in the cart. So <laughs> enjoy. Yes, we have Gigi in control, which um, you control Fofo with uh, arrow keys and Gigi with WASD. We have a suspicious corner band down here, which we finally are going to use. But yeah, we couldn't have done this before. Boom. And then, like, it goes on top of the fire, allowing for that. There you go. Okay. So, wind can be sacrificed a little bit, right? Hmm. We're just sacrificing a character or something for this one, I think. So we do that. Both characters go here. Flag is win. And now... Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, that didn't work out at all. Hmm. Or maybe we, like... We already have a character... St okay, there it is. <laughs> okay. We already just have a character on the flag before we do anything. Okay, well, this seems like it wouldn't be that difficult. I mean, we literally just, like, we, we Fofo float, get rid of it with GG. This is probably the easiest variation by far. Yep, there you go. Okay, I mean, this one is super easy as well. There it is. Okay, this time we have, I mean, we just play as GG and, well, it's it's kind of funny that we, we are going to use GG to desync, which allows that desync and there, and basically there we go. A blessing and a curse. Okay, so GG's here. GG is like, okay, GG's like immune to everything. GG makes things so easy. We can break the idol. Um, the pillar is not a... What's going on with the pillar? Actually, we might be squishing, but wait, Fofo is weak though, so we can't squish easily. No, wait, we can do it. We can we use Fofo here, and we put text on top of Gigi, allowing pillars push to be broken by Gigi. And there we go. Now the pillar is no longer solid. We can just do this. Do some nice Fofo is win. Okay, uh, rock and hard place. Hmm. Will this be difficult? Rock eat fire, uh-huh, so... Hmm. Um... The idea is... Rock is put... Wait. Hmm. No squishing. I... I don't even have room to break rock is push uh, after making it. Hmm. And this... There's no trickery with the GG and... Like, you can't do it on the same turn. It still goes turn by turn. And yeah, I could do flag is push. Then you couldn't really make it through, I think? Hmm. I think this is where it gets difficult now because... Well, hold on a second. I can push it on top of... Yeah, I can put something on top of the thing I make to break it later, okay? So I do that. Rock is push. Break rock is push with Fofo, then bring it... Then put Gigi there, bring it back. There we go. Now rock is flag, right? There we go. Cool. Simple applications. What, what should I pre pre prepare myself for? Two characters. Okay, one of them needs to get there, and then we block out the others. Um, actually, Pillar is Push is gonna help, isn't it? Because I want one of the objects to not exist uh, as a solid anymore. So do that. Do this. Now, break Pillar is Push so the rock can get on top, uh, and the rock can get near the flag. And we already had a character on top of the flag, so that all worked out. Okay. So... <sighs> Gigi better make things easy. I mean, here, like, Fofo dying allows Gigi to still exist. So we could get Fofo on this side using rock. Like, no, 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 no. What the? Oh, right, because Fofo is under our control, duh. So it actually needs to be the door, and then the door is push. Though, hmm. hmm. Uh, but, but just do doors, Fofo. Okay. 
Why is that a box? Oh, right. Hmm. I mean, here we can, like, now we have the opportunity to turn the Fofo into a door anytime I want, and then door is move. Nope. And then, and then turn it back. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Door is Fofo. Boxes win, and then do the same thing to get back. Turn Fofo back into a door, and then door is move. Then door is Fofo. There you go. Okay, and now, ending. Hi, Gigi. Wait, 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 Gigi is no longer in the bed due to this. Weird, very strange lore. Well, anyway, I mean, just, just, just win. Just win. Please. Please don't parity me. There we go. I like how you win. Like, you can't get end or done, I think. Because you, you don't have the abilities to get win or done, uh, end or done. That's what you get for playing on GG easy mode. No wonder GG keeps dying. We just make things too easy. Anyway, let's go back to GG. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my 100%, definitely not 99.99% .99 complete playthrough. Now, there's one interaction that I, it's honestly weird they didn't, like, the question mark does not immediately turn into the special effect, meaning that I can push this word fofo on, like, the second turn only. Weird that that wasn't ever used, but, you know, pretty, gr like, that's, some levels definitely more elegant than others. Some levels, um, a lot more painful than others, but this is an incredible design feat with some contrived is like like each level has four freaking solutions there's only one change of objects that is something that's great that's awesome and goodbye chess battle events